install a stereo system inside the Chevelle from scratch. Um, it's got everything right there. Got the stereo, the speakers, um, all the tools, fittings, wires, everything that I need. Um, I'm gonna go over everything in just a minute. So let's get into it. Um, the Chevelle came, obviously this isn't the factory radio. Um, I bought it like this though. Um, and it worked when I first bought the car. It kind of has that old school style and it's like a direct replacement. So whoever had this didn't have to um, cut into the dash. So um, yeah, like I said, it did work. So this car came with three speakers. It came one on the dash and then two on the back package tray. You can kind of see one's right there, then one on the other side. Um, sound like shit. It didn't really work when I first bought the car. Only the two back speakers worked. Um, and whoever installed those, it was just a, a terrible job. Um, it wasn't even the right speakers. They're small, I, like five inch speakers. Um, whatever, it worked. Um, but now I'm, I'm not gonna use this. I'm not gonna use any of the old wiring. So take this, you know, as a fresh start and you could apply this to anything, um, like the basics. You could use this for more modern cars if you wanted to. Um, old cars, you wide range of applications you could do this for. You could install speakers and a sub on a bike if that's what you into, um, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Um, so I went ahead and all the stuff I bought here um, are all the speakers and the deck I bought at Doer Electronics. Um, this specific deck, this little setup that I'm going with right here, this guy, um, two six by fives and then two six by nines. This cost me at Doer Electronics about 250. Um, and I've been there right there on commercial. I've been going to them since I had my 95 Civic and I started messing around with that and that's when I started learning how to wires. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it now. Still not the best way. Um, but I've never had an issue with it and I've done several cars. Um, I'm gonna show you how I used to do it and I'm gonna show you how I do it now. How I used to do it, trash, don't do, surprise none of the cars caught on fire the way I'm doing it now. A little bit more safer. Still feel like there's a better way out there, I just don't know, but hey, it works for me. Um, so yeah, what I got here is I got this deck. Um, and obviously it's not gonna fit inside here, um, just because the way this is cut out is there's this specific pattern right here. So like, there's like this little slot and then two little holes for these knobs. Um, kinda doesn't look like it because this plate's on there. So yeah, I would have to cut that to make sure this could slide in flush, which I don't wanna do. I eventually uh, want to put an old school stereo inside here um, that looks original but has Bluetooth and all that stuff. Um, so what I did was, let's go over all this really quick. Got the stereo that I need, uh, has Bluetooth. Um, it has an aux port right there and then it has USB um, just cause I want to be able to charge my phone while I'm listening to music too. Um, these are the six and a halfs. I'm gonna end up installing them. Either cut this open and use fiberglass, fiberglass to extend it, or somehow mount them in this area facing down. Um, I can give you guys an example. My cut or my uncle has it inside his Impala like that. Um, I just saw it for the first time. It's a good idea. And then the two six by nines. I already have these installed. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys how to install this. I could. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it um, when I'm working on the package tray. Let me pick these up. Um, which should be in this video or another video. Um, but the whole point of this video is just for the wiring process and installing the actual stereo. So, since I don't want to cut open the dash, what I did was I bought this. It's like 20 bucks online, something like that. It's super basic. You can make your own mounts, which I kind of wanted to do, but I also wanted it to look a little bit more appealing to the eye. <laughs> So, I know it seems a little too close to the driver's side, but this is the only way it's gonna fit. Um, a lot of people, what they do is instead of cutting this or putting it under here, they put it inside the glove box, which I still wanna utilize for paperwork, all that stuff. Um, how I had it before is I had my stereo wired up underneath the seat. So every time I needed to change the song or adjust the volume, I just do that really quick. 
it worked. Um, but I was also using Bluetooth too, so I did it on my phone. Um, but I actually want to be able to see it now and do everything I need to do. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the radio position first, which is obviously going to be right here, kind of flush to this line. That way I can still use this for my coins. So yeah, do put it right there. And this, once I have the radio installed right here, I'll be able to tell how much wire I'm gonna need um, in order to run it all the way to the back. So I do have this roll of wire, 16 gauge, 100 feet. Obviously I'm not gonna use the whole 100 feet, but um, I used close to it, just running it, hiding it, running it all the way to the back. Um, so that's what I got. So we got speakers, deck, wire, the mount for the radio. Most modern cars, you're not gonna have to need this. For classic cars you will, but any other car, they probably have a radio the size of this and you just need to buy like a, a face plate and all that stuff. So I got that. I got, it's kind of like wire loom. Um, bought this off of Amazon. It was like 20 bucks for like 25 feet, which should be a decent amount. And you just open it up, put the wires inside there, rot it all the way to the back. That way they're not exposed. And then I am installing a sub, or I do have a sub installed already. Um, and I just bought this off of Amazon too. Super inexpensive. Comes with all the fittings that you need. Zip ties. I'm not gonna use this power this power wire just because I do have a longer one that I'm using and the reason why I'm using a longer one is because I routed it a certain way where you didn't see it as much granted I could just drill a hole on this side but at the time I didn't want to drill a hole and now that the firewall's painted I kind of don't want to drill a hole again should have did that before but we'll work with it um, so yeah let's go over the parts that you're gonna need in order to wire this um, and like I said, I'm going to give you guys a rundown of how I used to do it, um, which is not a way you should do it. But hey, if you're just signing out and just want to see if it works, to have everything outside the car and stuff like that, go for it. Um, so we're going to need electrical tape, uh, wire cutters, um, and if you could crimp them down there. You don't need that really. Uh, let's see. These are a whole bunch of end fittings that I bought off Amazon as well. They're really inexpensive. The only reason why you probably use these is for, or ones like these, is connecting it to the amp. Um, or like ones like these to connect it to the battery. I don't know if we're going to use those depending on, I don't think none of those are big enough for the power wire, but this one came with some, so we should be good. Now inside this box. This is what we're going to use to connect the wires together. It's, um, I'll show you guys. There's solder inside there, and you just use um, a heat gun and the solder will mount. This is string tubing too, so it will close right up. Works great. Um, it's just like 25 bucks online. Um, yeah, then I have a whole bunch of other stuff. I have extra wires, which I won't need. Um, Double-sided tape, zip ties. You might need that to stick things in certain places so they don't rattle or move. But we probably won't need any of this. Um, I do have wires laying around like this, which I use when I'm wiring up stereos and like for different reasons. But probably won't need that since we have the speaker wire and they're put together. Um, there we got the amp and then we have the heat gun all right now let's talk about how i used to do it when i used to wire up stereos i used to just um use wire and electrical tape that's it that's all i used um i didn't i didn't have a heat gun i didn't have 
uh, all these end fittings. I didn't have anything. So whenever I would hook up um, any kind of wire to um, the stereo, I just grab both wires and then I twist them. So yeah, I grab both wires, twist them like this, wrap it with electrical tape, and call it a day. Um, not the best way to do it, but that's how I used to do it. And actually, the Trailblazer um, is wired up like that. And the reason why it's wired up like that is um, when I put all the proper connection on it, it was making like this buzzing sound. So I went back in there, took all the wires apart, um, and yeah, it was it stopped doing it a little bit um, but I think I found out the reason yeah I found out the reason why it's doing it um, so I need to go back and put all these connections in but it's currently wired up right here I have no issues with it but still not the best thing to do um, so don't do that all right got it bolted up I'm not gonna use all the bolts just because I have two right here two on the other side and it's pretty fucking sturdy I mean I, I could do this one theoretically but these ones right here this just too big of a gap and I don't want it to crack then putting too much force I do notice a little crack right here uh, I don't know if you can, kind of, you can see it through the camera but you can see like through there you can probably see my hand a little bit um, yeah I kind of don't like that but whatever it would do for now once you have the deck inside here you probably won't be able to see the light honestly no one be looking at that I can still open this so what we can do is throw this in. I do, that's upside down. I do plan on putting something right here in the middle, maybe like this piece of foam, just because what I'm noticing is that this does bend down because there's nothing in the middle to support it up. So there's a gap right here between this top part and the bottom part. Obviously this is gonna sag a little bit. Um, so it's like that. So I might put this foam inside there. Hopefully this foam is enough. Um, and this foam I actually got from behind one of the sail panels. So, hopefully I can use something like this, where like it will support it. Perfect, so. All right, so I got the wire that goes in, uh, plugs directly into the back of the stereo. Um, and this is where you're gonna connect all your speakers to, uh, your power, um, the remote for the amp, uh, the blue wire, um, dimmer switch, whatever, whatever your car has. Um, like I said, for like newer cars, you know, you plug this in and then on the opposite end, there's probably like an adapter for that car. Um, and then you can just match up the wires. In this case, since we don't have that, we're not working with that. Um, which is, we're not going to use all of them. We're just going to use the speaker ones and the power ground accessory. Uh, none of the other ones, which I don't think this one has anyways. Um, so other than that, we're in a good spot. Now here, this is a screenshot I took way back when, when I first started fucking around with cars. Um, and yeah, it tells you um, what color goes to where. So left front is going to be the white and the white with the gray. Or in this case, it's going to be black. So you have these two right here white and then one white with black so one's power and tells you the solid one's power the one with the black strip is going to be a negative I don't know if you guys can see it right there and then the blue is for the left rear the right is for the right rear or the purple is for the right rear so we have purple right here not blue green sorry so we have yeah purple right here and then two greens one right here and one on that side the one with the black strip is going to be the ground so yeah this is just Google this. This literally what I Googled car speaker wiring. Got something like that. You can put diagram, whatever it is. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this inside here, put the stereo inside here, mock it up really quick, put the wires to the back. Um, hopefully, they don't stick out too much or I could like shove them back in. Um, and then I'm gonna grab this roll, roll out some wire from the front. Um, and then drag it all the way to the back to see how much wire I'm gonna need. Um, while I'm doing that though, I'm also gonna just tuck it in to see, um, cause I don't wanna directly wire it from right here to the back because if I do that, then I'm not taking into consideration um, having to you know, route it behind here, make sure it tucks in underneath the carpet nicely and all that stuff. Um, 
so let me roll it all out then i'll show you guys how i did it um and then i'm gonna have to do it twice because there's two speakers back there all right scratch that from pulling it over here found it throwing it inside the truck removing the seats a lot easier you can do it with the seats on you're gonna struggle a little bit it is possible but doing it this way and i'll be able to tuck it in i'm not gonna put it on the carpet right now but i could just get a gist of what it's gonna be like if it's laying out flat and then move it all the way back here and kind of route it up like that so yeah let's see what the what it looks like in a minute all right so i got it lay down as close as i could to the bottom do it this way this is going to be all under the carpet i'm going to route it up through the top of this a little bit and then put the connections right there that way the connections are up and you don't really see them and then whatever's left over i could tuck it in under here if not i could pull it back a little bit um and get more of it under the carpet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the back find the right length i need for the speaker which is right there um remove this cut another one just because there shouldn't be that much of a difference from there to the same spot um and yeah we'll take it we'll take it from there all right so here i am i cut two of them um i cut one slightly larger which is going to be for this uh back right side just because i'm going to route it so i'm going to route it this way underneath that way all the wires are together instead of having it come from an angle then both from an angle um that way i put all the wires on one side because there is factory naturally a bunch of wires inside that black thing right there i'm gonna move it on this side um so let's go ahead and oh these came with the speakers they have both the ends so i don't want to waste this um so i cut it slightly short i didn't put this directly to the speaker um because now this connects to that and then you have that much more room to play with um so i cut it slightly away from the speaker just so i could use this and i could utilize these ends um the smaller ones the ground and the larger ones the power hence the black stripe right there so yeah let's go ahead and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna use to um, put them together all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these wires to these wires for the back speakers so what you want to do is just you could dig your nail into there kind of split them a little bit not too much that should be good same thing on this side you can get your wire strippers i think i bought these on amazon for like 15 bucks um i was tired of using the other ones and honestly these are a lot faster get like a decent amount off more than that something like that and then same thing with these guys Cool, cool, cool. So, one thing I don't like about these wires is they don't have a black stripe like any other wires. So, these big wires just have a red stripe. And red inside cars means power, black means ground. Um, so, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the stripes together. So, if I see a stripe on this, I'm gonna know it has the ground. So, I'm gonna keep the stripe and connect it to the ground. This one, I don't see. Yeah, I don't see anything on it, so I'm just going to use it as a power. Go ahead and twist these a little bit. Then we're going to use one of these. Probably not this red one. Because there's not that much room in there to play. So use this slightly larger one. Go ahead and slide that in. Then I'm just going to wrap it together. Give it a little bit of stronger bond. And then I'm going to put this silver part, that's the solder, right in the middle. 
All right, so make sure these got a good connection. Put it over there. And then I'm gonna grab the heat gun. Middle. All right, much better. So you can see that silver, the solder kind of melted. Uh, you can use a soldering iron, an actual solder, to mount the joints together and put like a um, heat shrink tube around it and then shrink it together. Um, but this is like all in one kind of deal, so it's a lot more efficient. Um, it's also waterproof. Um, don't need that inside the car, but I have it here. I'm not going to go waste money and buy more shit. So I just need to do this to all the wires. Cool. So I got this wire done. Um, let's go ahead and plug this in and just kind of mock up where it's going to be routed to. Um, like I said, these connections were here already. I don't want to waste some time to use them, but if you don't have wires, you're doing it all from scratch, like just with speaker wire, buy some connections. Um, you get them at cheap online, but you can also get them at like AutoZone, O'Reilly's and stuff like that. All right, so I have both the wires in here. Hook them both up. Um, obviously one's under there, one's under here. Um, now ideally that's it for that part, for those speakers. So obviously this goes to the um, radio, 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 it goes to the radio. Now, before I put the seats back on, I am installing obviously an amp for the sub I have back there. Um, so just like the radio, I need to figure out where this amp is gonna go. That way I could cut to size the, power, the remote wire. Um, so on this guy, you're gonna have these, these two inputs, which is, these guys connect behind the stereo and then you're gonna have battery remote and ground these are this is gonna connect to the sub so you don't need to worry about that so battery I'm also gonna have to route this way remote obviously I'm gonna have to route this way because it's gonna go with the uh, stereo um, so obviously this connects directly to your battery um, with that fuse of course and then the ground is gonna be short and it's gonna connect somewhere inside the trunk um right now i had it connected to or before i had it connected to the bumper bolt um but i want to mount this somewhere because when i had it up there it was just fucking thrown in there uh, looking like shit so i want to mount it somewhere probably behind the seat with some short screws or something um but let's try to figure that out all right so what i wanted to do was mount this directly up against that back panel I kind of don't want to do that now. Um, I think I'm just going to mount it directly to the sub. Cool. So just a brief overview of what I got going on here. Got both the speakers right here. The left and right one. I got the RC uh, cables. I got the remote cable. And I got the power cable for the amp. Now I'm pushing a 12 inch sub with a 600 watt amp. This gauge should be fine for it. Um, or it is fine for it. Um, it's been working for me. I, I used it before, so it's great. This kit came with a four inch wire, four inch gauge. Um, and I could use this too, but once I figure out how I wanna actually keep the wire, um, I'll do this and upgrade it to a larger amp, bigger speaker. As of right now, this, four, or this eight inch gauge is gonna work for me. Um, so let's go ahead and put this all inside this guy right here and put the seats back in and we can see how it looks and then we can start connecting shit to the actual stereo all right we're gonna do this later on it took me forever to get just this little portion inside there um, this thing doesn't open up easily but it stretches it looks a lot more modern I like this I think I'm gonna buy a lot more of this and just use it for whatever I gotta do. The amp wire did come with like this thing and it's plastic. You see this a lot on cars um, and it's not bad, but like I said, I just feel like this one looks a lot more modern and nicer. Uh, so let's go ahead and wire up everything. Uh, I'm gonna continue with this later because it's taking up too much of my time. Let's go ahead and wire up everything. Let's at least see if we get the speakers turned on right now. All right, so I moved it under the carpet right here. Make sure I had all my wires. Kind of just have it like this and put the seats back on it is going to rain in a little bit so i can still be able to do the wiring um 
But yeah, I just want to put all the interior in before it does start raining. All right, got everything in here. Um, this larger black wire is the antenna. Um, I just, it's mounted in there, but it's, or it's placed in there, but it's not actually connected to the stereo. That's because it's really fucking hard to push those things in and there's not that much room to maneuver back here. So the first thing I'm gonna, before I wire up the speakers, I just wanna get the stereo power. So we have these three wires that we need to connect to, um, depending on how you're wiring it up or what you're wiring it up to, you're gonna wanna do this or change it. Um, in this case, obviously the black is ground, so I need, need to figure out a ground. I think there's a black wire right here that's ready ground from this speaker. If not, you could literally drill a hole into any of the middle brackets, the frame. Um, as long as this is connected to metal, you know, it could be like right there. Don't recommend doing it right there, but y'all get the point. Anything that's metal. Then you have the red, which is power. This will connect to your battery. And yellow um, is your constant. And this will be connected to, um, let's see. That in, in this case, what I'm doing is I'm connecting it straight to the fuse box over there. So this top, oh, let me see if I can point it out with this wire. The top one right up there is battery. The one right below it right there is accessory. So the red one's gonna go to battery. The yellow one's gonna go to accessory, which means every time I put this into accessory, just one click, the stereo should be able to turn on just like any car does. Um, and then obviously when I power it on, it's gonna cut off really quick, but then turn right back on. All right, I ended up putting it actually off through this loom. Now, one part I fucked up on is labeling the other end of these guys so now i don't know which one's the left speaker which one's the right speaker easy way to do it is i'm just gonna wire them together with electrical tape how i used to do it and then once i power on the stereo i'm gonna put it all the way to the left and i can see if these are in the right spot if not take them apart and then actually solder them um all together with these guys um so not that big of a deal just some extra steps i got to do to ensure that the left speaker is the left speaker and right speaker speaker is the right speaker um so let me go ahead and try to wire this up and then we'll take it from there. Right, so I have the wires hooked up here, throw it inside there. The sub wires go right here where it says SW, the very bottom one. I don't know if you guys can read it. Yep, slide these guys into there. And then this one comes with a mic, so you can see it. There's RW at the bottom and at the very top of here. It's mic so I'll connect it to the very top so yeah I'm gonna try to connect everything and then route all the wires to the back through those two holes all right I have everything through here uh, the only thing I wasn't able to get through here um, is the antenna for the, the windshield antenna all right let me show you guys what I did I wired up like I said the red and the yellow wire right there the top one, the top red one, is battery. Even right there, it says battery right there, and the bottom one is accessory. So, and then the ground, there is a ground wire ready right there that goes directly to the harness. Um, but like I said, you can mount it anywhere you want it to. And here it is. I have it an accessory, and it is on. It's working. Obviously, I don't have the wires connected. But I'm gonna do that some other time. I do have to go. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pick up this video another day and show you guys how it goes.